Oh hey y'all, how's it going? Fatty here. Thanks for joining me on the channel that's only second in helpfulness compared to WikiHow. And today I'm bringing you guys something a little bit different. This is going to be my Let's Play series on Elite Arc. It's going to be a lot of PvP action, a lot of just kind of hitting people hard, doing some raids. It's just mostly going to be kind of that action and a lot less of anything else so it's gonna be a little bit different i'm gonna kind of do like a narration of it let some stuff play just kind of highlight over it uh let any pvp stuff kind of just play out as is and we'll see how it goes so uh let's just jump into it and let me know what you guys think so with this uh series we're on the elite arc server which is a little boosted and it's kind of different i just looked for highly boosted or not highly boosted highly populated servers just to kind of find one that's gonna have a lot of people a pvp action just kind of get going and started so on this one it's kind of different it gives you a kit and you can buy some kits with points and you have these quests that give you like element and points so you can buy stuff so it just kind of gets people going a little bit a little bit quicker so you're gonna see that i start out with some flak a jump or like basic tools and a glider suit so I just kind of start here getting some basic stuff uh, built up, just trying to find a, a little bit of a, a home, kind of create my character and just get used to the map. Started on the island, I uh, hadn't been on the island in quite a while, so I thought this was going to be a really good opportunity just to kind of get used to some old style arc again, you know, just kind of go back to the classics. And also, haven't been here in a long time, so I'm not super familiar with all of it, so I thought it'd be kind of fun to have to explore some of it on foot and just kind of re-get used to, introduced to the game. So as I was doing this, um, you know, killed some spawns, uh, found some chests, or not chests, um, explorer notes just to level up a little bit quicker, even though it's already incredibly boosted. And then as I was doing this, I eventually did see um, some red numbers in the distance. This is one that has the damage counters on it. I didn't really realize that when I started, but whatever, it's fine. It doesn't really make or break it for me. It's not my favorite. But anyways, I saw this guy off in the distance, and then we just got into a little bit of a PvP session. I was still really new and kind of nervous, didn't want to lose this like nice gear that I had. So kind of build out a little bit early, but I'll just let that play out for y'all. So after I kind of ran away and cried for my defeat from this PvP action, I tamed uh, Tyrande on next to really just kind of fly around, find a little base spot so I can place my armor, you know, just kind of get set up and get a little gunpowder going so I could actually PvP a little bit more and maybe do a little bit of raid. And as I was flying around, uh, I decided to build in the Redwoods. Uh, I just kind of like that. It's been a while and just cool aesthetics. Um, not great base locations, not gonna lie. Ends up uh, not being really great for us in the end. Um, but I thought it would be kind of fun, so I went there. And as I was flying around on the side of one of the metal mountains, kind of in that 
that area, I saw this base, and now this was the most PvE shit I've ever seen. It is half on pillars, it's multi-level, that's really weird, it's just not defended well. There are like only a couple turrets, and they're like on top of everything, so you can't really defend from it very well either. So it's just, it's it wasn't very well, so I was like, okay, I need to get the space down really quick, and then this way I can go back there and hit them really hard and try to get some resources from that as well. So when it really came to this build, I didn't really have too much like effort or really thought put into it. I just really wanted something hidden enough that people wouldn't see me and just compact enough that it wasn't big enough to really draw attention. So that's why I just went beyond this waterfall. It is most atrocious build I've ever built. I don't know what the, this floating foundation is with the one bed on it, but you know what? It works and it, like really I just wanted to get in here, you know, get some metal, get some wood, get some spark powder, get all that good stuff just to get built up enough where I could just go attack all these guys. now. When you look at their base, it is really not that easy, or is not that difficult, sorry, to actually get to it. It's going to be super easy. You're just going to like fly over here. There's like a cliff that you can just kind of float up top and then swoop right underneath, do one quick C-spin, and I guarantee you're going to get right underneath that base out of the turret range. So since I had the plan in place, really, it was just at this point waiting for metal to smelt. So, uh, you know, it's the best time in arc, but at least you can see the, the beautiful sunset, right? So after I waited for the metal to smelt up, I went out and had to get myself a lord and savior idol of Harambe, just to have around, always a necessity, always gotta have one of these. And then after that, I just kinda, you know, built a smithy, got all the gear ready and stuff like that to go after these guys. Now it was a really easy scout, these guys had built up a little bit more since the last time I built here, or blah, blah, blah. Since I was last over here, they had a couple more turrets and started going to metal, but they still had this huge empty area underneath, so I'll just let this play out the way it happened.
So yeah, after I made the biggest noob mistake after getting excited seeing a gun thinking I should pull that out real quick just for, for defense out of the bag and over and covering myself, uh, <laughs> getting shredded, we decided to go grief uh, some other people and leave those guys alone, let them recover a little bit from it. Um, so we found this other one that we just kind of blew up in some of their gates. We uh, brought in a parasaur to soak some of their bullets. Um, ended up being a little bit more damage than we thought it was going to be. You know, new server, we didn't quite know everything yet. Um, so we did that for a second, kind of griefed on them. I came up to the door, my audio on my part got cut off, so I'll make sure it's better on the next one. But I was just like shit talking them, making funny voices and stuff. They ended up opening a gate that was right next to them. And then um, when the gate was open, I just kind of tame sniped their Pteranodon. And yeah, we kind of felt bad at that point. Uh, our rocket launchers and stuff were broken, so we just left. But thank you guys so much, so much for watching. I have a part two already filmed up. And again, it has some more PvP and like fighting action in it, which is really awesome. So I'll make sure every episode has some kind of PvP fight in it, showing the progress of where we're at. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.